Hello guys, hope you're doing well as always and welcome back to another video today. We are in Southampton, really rushed for time, hell of a lot of traffic going on, but nevertheless we have got Southampton versus Leicester. It's a big game, both relegated sides from the Premier League. Both had fairly good starts to the Championship season. Leicester find themselves in third place while Southampton is seventh place. And Southampton actually won both of their games against Leicester in the Premier League last season. So it's going to be interesting to see who wins this fixture. Both times these sides played in the Championship last time, Leicester won both of those so it's really anyone's for the taking but let's get into the stadium get to the seats hope for a good game of football Ladies and gents, finally we are here. It took us long enough to get in, bit of a mission, but we'll get into that, I'm sure, after the game is finished. But I'm going to come to you very quickly for a score prediction. 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Two, two. Do you know what? I can see it being either 1-1 one, one or 2-1. I think it might go Leicester's way. Southampton fresh off a 5-0 defeat, obviously interrupted by the international break. I'm going to go Leicester 2, Southampton 1. And out come the two teams, ladies and gentlemen, for this championship blockbuster game. Southampton versus Leicester. Potential promotion places on the line here, so early in the season. It's a great turnout from the Southampton fans today, making most of the noise so far. Leicester though have brought a large number of travelling fans and there's a way to take this pass. But it's silence was interrupted by the Southampton fans and Leicester fans are clearly not happy with that. It's all kicking off over there. We are underway ladies and gentlemen. Jamie Vardy puts the ball in the back of the net and the Leicester away end has exploded. The corner where those disgruntlements earlier, they've got their own back. Just past the two minute mark and safe to say we've come for some action today ladies and gentlemen. Unbelievable start from Leicester, applying the pressure early on, getting the goal with the first attack of the game and it was avoidable from Southampton but they've still got plenty of time to come back into this game. Oh, brilliant from James Justin there, excellent interception to stop the goal. One back by Southampton. Oh, a great save from the goalkeeper as well. Southampton looking to get back into this game. Oh! And he's missed it! Shay Adams with another golden opportunity missed, and that's a story in Southampton's season so far. Missed opportunity after missed opportunity. Another missed opportunity. It's a great ball. And it's two. Leicester double their lead. And once again, the away stands go crazy. Another goal that was completely avoidable from Southampton. They left the gap at the back. Leicester found it. And they're 2-0 up now. Southampton have got a mountain to climb now. Their last game finished 5-0. And the way things are going so far, it could be a very similar scoreline. Goalkeeper saved his team. It's a good ball. And it's there. Southampton have a goal back. Game on. We came in for goals and we've got them. Good 
side. And the finish wasn't quite there, but brilliant play. Oh. Here come Leicester. It's a brilliant ball. It's a good save. And Southampton once again on the back foot. Southampton just had seconds to hold on and it feels very much like game over. Yet again, the Southampton defence just switched off. It was a good ball through, but it was too easy again for Leicester. And Southampton find themselves two goals down again and I'm really struggling to see a way where Southampton can get back into this game. And that is going to be half-time, ladies and gents. And booze ring around the St Mary's. So, ladies and gents, it's half-time. And four goals is what we've had to witness in the first half. We're not complaining, are we? We're not complaining. After a very stressful time getting here, de-stressed with four cracking goals. Yeah, big time, big time. What did you make of the two sides? Leicester all day, really. They've, they've, they're been quality. Uh, they're, they're really premiership opposition, I'd say, today. Uh, the quality wise. So, very, very, very good. Deserve, deserve their lead. 100%. Those of you who would have watched my championship predictions over on the Devon Mackham channel would have known that I didn't have very high hopes for Leicester this season. I thought they finished bottom half of the table, uh, but they are proving me wrong big time today. They look fantastic, they look sharp, they've been very good on the press, great passing as well, and Southampton have been the complete opposite. They've been lackluster on the ball, terrible on the press, and have given away three very sloppy and very avoidable goals. Let's hope for more goals in the second half. We'll see what this half brings. Fashionably late as always, ladies and gentlemen, but only by a matter of seconds. Big cheer as Charlie Alcraz is brought onto the pitch. A lot of Southampton fans online wondering why he wasn't started. Can he make the difference tonight? And it is going to be a Southampton free kick. That was cynical from Harry Winks. And he gets a booking for it as well. Southampton have got a brilliant position to get back into this game. In the absence of James Hall Prowse these days, since he moved to West Ham, they've lost their key danger man from set pieces. It's going to be interesting to see who's going to step up and replace him as their long term set piece taker. And it is Alcraz who looks most likely to step up and take it. He's the one who put the ball down. And that is why missing that James Hall Prowse touch. Southampton have started the second half very, very bright. They've been the better side, which in the first half, there are no points where they look like being the better side. It's a promising start, but they need to find the back of the net soon if they want to bring themselves back into this game. Oh, my word. That is the opposite of what they needed. A golden opportunity once again missed, and Southampton have only got themselves to blame at this point. Southampton... Lesser in, oh and he's missed it, arguably the best player on the pitch so far, Navadidi has put the ball wide. Oh that's a good save. Oh it's brilliant, it's just him and the keeper to beat now. Navadidi. Oh, that's a brilliant goal. And that's surely the game puts to bed now. It's against the run of play in the second half. But Leicester have got the goal that surely wins in the game. And yet again, Southampton miss chances. They miss chances. They miss more chances. And then they're made to pay for it. It's poor defending at the back. And there we go. As the Samaras begins to empty, they have seen enough. The St Mary's continues to empty and there's only seconds left until added time. Hardly any Southampton fans remain. Who can blame them? 
Here come Leicester with one final chance. Oh, and it's over the bar from Ian Acho. That could have made it five. It could have been salt in the wounds, but it is over the bar. And it's a red card out of the blue. I'm not entirely sure what that was given for. It seemed like a natural coming together between the two. The Southampton's day goes from bad to worse. A needless red card, a needless suspension when things were already bad enough. I've watched it back on my footage that I got and I can't lie, I think that is a terrible decision. I've slowed it down so many times. I don't see how that is a red card. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe the TV replays will show something different, but from where we were sat, in my opinion at least, it never in a million years looks like a red card. And I think that's harsh from the referee. And ladies and gents, that is nil-nil as boos ring around the stadium from the Southampton fans that are left. St Mary's is pretty barren at the end of, well, what was a terrible display, putting it simply from the Southampton players. Leicester were sharp, Leicester were good in possession, good out of possession. Southampton, on the other hand, was sloppy when they had the ball. They were poor in defence, leaving way too many gaps for a fantastic Leicester side to exploit. The Leicester players heading over to the Leicester fans, and in credit to them, they were brilliant this game. The whole stadium was rocking from the beginning, but of course, the Southampton fans left, and the North became lower and lower as each goal went in. It's a real statement from Leicester and yet another reminder for Southampton that they've got a lot of improving to do if they want to find themselves at the top half of the table come the end of the season. Okay, ladies and gents, so we are at the hotel. We've obviously got a game tomorrow, so that's going to be very exciting FA Cup action to bring you, but we're going to be talking about today's game first. So I'm going to come to you first. Thoughts and feelings on the game? Oh, it was a game of two halves. Uh, the first half, I thought, was Leicester, and the second half, to be fair, was also Leicester. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so, unfortunately, Southampton, you weren't very good. You had your moments in the first half, um, but I think the problem was you didn't take them. I think we said during the match, actually, it was like watching a Premiership team versus mm. a non-Premiership team. Uh, Leicester were really, really good and uh, deserved their win. And the, the scoreline didn't flatter them. So, well done to them. They deserved it. Really expect them to go on and challenge, if not win that league yeah 100 percent. as i said uh, earlier in the game i thought at the beginning of the season that leicester wouldn't do so well i thought southampton would do very well obviously i saw them against sheffield at the beginning of the season and it seemed like they were sort of there but not quite and again it was the same today but leicester was so good that southampton just looked amateur compared to them they had their moments where i thought that they looked good especially at the beginning of the second half they looked like they could potentially come back into the game but they obviously didn't it was leicester all the way there was never Never really going to be that much competition in this game based on the difference between the two sides but we've got the same man of the match once again we both agreed so do you remember his name <laughs> <laughs> uh, the man of the match definitely easily and agreed with by sky sports i believe yes was steffi mavididi Yes, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. In the first half, he was on our side as well, and he just bossed the first half completely. A little bit quiet in the second half, but still like fantastic. He ran the game. I believe he got one goal and one assist, and just was instrumental in all of the goals for Leicester, really. Should have had more as well. Yeah, I think yeah. so as well. I think yeah. both sides missed chances. That's the main thing, especially for Southampton. Southampton missed a lot of chances, and it could have been a very different scoreline on that. But Mavadidi, brilliant, well played. And uh, yeah, like you said, I think Leicester will probably probably go straight back up like Leeds we'll see you on Sunday <laughs> we'll see you on Sunday absolutely but ladies and gentlemen that is the end of today's video as I say we've got FA Cup action tomorrow White Hawk so just a little bit further down the coast but uh facing Red Hill our local side in the FA Cup road to Wembley so we'll see you for that one thank you very much for watching as always take care peace and love peace and love, peace and love.